Hello everyone, this is Ashish and today we are going to talk about the most essential topic that is long term planning. It becomes extremely important because without a long term plan, you won't be able to have your short term plans. You won't be able to have your weekly plans or your daily plan. If you do not know what you want to do, let's say in six months, you won't possibly be able to find out what you want to do throughout the day. And we are going to properly plot. I'm having very good plan prepared for you guys. This plan will be highly focused towards gate 2021 and what you should be doing in the next six months, starting from 1st August to end of the January. But this kind of planning can be used almost in any examination. I used it for gate examination, for BARC examination, for ISRO examination. And moreover, still till this day, if I have to achieve a particular target in limited amount of time, I'll be making a plan like this. Because if you do not have a plan, like you are just running blind you do not know where you're going what you're doing and why you're doing you're not having any direction and that is most likely it will be the reason for you to lose motivation at some point or the other because you do not know where you came from and where you are going there's a old proverb if you fail to plan then you plan to fail so let us get into the screen now and you are going to see the plan that i've created for you but more essentially for any competitive examination especially like gate examination three most important aspects would be syllabus completion revision and test series all right so let us talk about them one by one and then you'll be able to understand the plan in a better manner now syllabus completion it is done when all the let us say 12 subjects of a particular examination syllabus is over but when do we say a particular subject syllabus is over when you're done with class notes because you'll be going through some lecture series and you'll be done with class notes which will be, you'll be making while going through that lecture when you come back you'll be revising those class notes and you'll be making micro notes and you'll be solving previous year questions previous year questions for at least core branches would be of gate and will be of engineering services you'll also be solving isro previous year questions but when i'll be talking about that later then the revision becomes very important once you've completed syllabus revision is also important but revision does not start when all the subjects are over it starts somewhere in the middle revision are basically of three different types parallel revision cyclic revision and daily revision now parallel revision is something let us say you are already done with three subjects then if you start four subject five subjects you will not be completely leaving the first three subjects parallelly you will be revising the first three subjects because you cannot expect yourself to remember even half of a particular subject if you're seeing or trying to revise after let us say four months so when to revise i'll be talking about that the second one is cyclic revision and that will be done if you are already done with one to two times of revising of a particular subject now you can start revising using test series that way you can find out where you're weak in and you can work on your weaknesses and the third one is daily revision is basically your micro notes your micro notes will be revised on a daily basis and that will your micro notes will be basically having all the important formulas for that particular competitive examination and it will be covering all the 12 subjects in somewhere around like 15 to 20 pages which you can revise on a daily basis then we are going to come to the test series and this is the part most of the people skip this part and because of that there's no way that they are going to get a very good result now test series are of two types number one full and test series and subject wise test series your subject wise test series will be done by this cyclic revision only i've made a video on parallel revision i've made a video on cyclic revision i've made a video on micro notes and i've also made a video on how to make class notes i'll be also i've made a video on how you should be solving your previous year questions i'll be linking all those videos down in the description box if you want to go through it in a much more detailed manner all right so you are getting a picture of these are the three important ingredients for your perfect preparation now we are going to get into what you should be planning like all right now these are your six months starting from august to the end of january now depending on your level of preparation so far let us say you are very good with your preparation so far you're done with already let's say three to four subjects three to four major subjects then your syllabus completion time among these four months will be shorter and you can do more of revision and you can give more test series that will be strengthening your preparation in a better manner let us say you are just starting your preparation then you will be needing more time for your syllabus completion and you'll be getting less time for revision that means less number of revision cycle and less number of test series that you'll be giving so it does depend on how far you've done your preparation so far but in any case 
your preparation strategy should be perfect according to your situation right now so august and september will be mainly used for your major subjects okay for any any branch there will be five to six major subjects for mechanical i can say that strength of material thermodynamics fm heat transfer and theory of machine would be your major subjects now these subjects should be finished first there are three different levels of subjects level a subjects from which somewhere around like 15 to 20 percent of the marks in any competitive examination will be coming these are the most major subjects then comes level b subjects where let us say five to ten marks question comes but it fluctuates every now and then level c subjects are subjects from which sometimes question doesn't come at all so depending on the priority we'll be finishing these subjects so first we'll be finishing the major subjects and then we are going to get into the minor subjects and while we are completing the minor subjects your parallel revision will be going on once you are done with parallel revision properly let us say once every subject has been revised then you are going to get into cyclic revision now in cyclic revision you're going to be using test series but this can be only done when you have revised one subject at least once going through your class notes at least once that will come after one month of you completing the subject maybe it is confusing maybe because you have not watched my video completely my previous videos there's a video called 10 common mistakes that people make while preparing for competitive examination it is hands down the most important video that i've made so far so do go through it after you're done with this video you're not going to get a 20 minute video that is going to tell you everything about how to prepare for a competitive examination in six months but for people who have gone through those videos they'll be able to understand it in a better manner now when you're in october or november you'll be doing level b subjects you'll be completing them one by one from scratch and while you're doing it you'll also be revising your previous subjects that you have already completed if you are very good with them you have already revised them once or twice you can start with cyclic revision that means giving subject wise test series of those subjects right so basically if you are very good with your preparation so far you can start your subject wise test series somewhere around october then in december this is your final target this is where you want to be let us talk about january first all of my january will be involved 100 percent in giving full length test series it is very very important for you to get accustomed to solving let us say in three hours 65 questions because that is what you are going to ultimately do so giving test series is very important you are going to devise a proper strategy that is fitted for you and also you are going to be keeping on working on the subjects that you're weak in so continuously you'll be doing test series analysis after giving every test series and then you're going to find out weakness and then you're going to work on that weakness so this is what you're going to do throughout the january so that you understand why am i keeping all of january only for full end test series you'll be giving a full end test series then you'll be finding a weakness how you'll be finding a weakness by doing test series analysis made a video on that do follow that video very very important available in both hindi and english i'll link it down in the description box once you find your weakness then you revise those subjects that you're weak in and then you give a subject wise test series of that subject that you're weak in and then you give a full end test series this is a cycle for improvement if you do like this only then you'll improve otherwise your all the full end test series are going to waste a lot of time it happens that you're giving test series continuously but you're getting the same marks because you're not improving it is pretty simple but very hard for students to understand all right this is what you're going to be doing throughout january but this is what you'll be doing in december there might be some level c subjects like ic engine or hydraulic machines that will be still left in december no problem you're already done with 80 percent of the syllabus side by side you can finish those minor subjects as well in december what you'll be doing number one solve the minor subjects second you'll be giving four test series i don't want you to give a lot of full length test series by the way you'll still be giving some subject wise test series but four full length test series would be good because in beginning phases i do not expect you guys to give full length test series on a daily basis not even an alternate basis you can give test series on a weekly basis because in beginning you are just getting acquainted to solving this many question in this much time and then you are also going to have a lot of weaknesses and you'll need a lot of time to work on those weaknesses strengthen them so give test series with proper amount of interval in january you can speed it up and depending on how much improvement you are seeing you can give somewhere around like 8 to 20 test series how do we decide if the interval is correct or not if you are seeing improvement then give test series faster if you are seeing no improvement or your marks is degrading then increase the interval between the test series because you do need to work on your weaknesses 
All right. So you do understand now what you need to do. Also in December, you are going to be solving ISRO previous year questions because by now you are 80% of syllabus is already done. And the problem with ISRO previous year question is that it is not uh, subject wise, it will be year wise. So it will be cluster of all the subjects. So you should be done with most of the subject if you want to be solving previous year questions of this. So it will also be acting as a revision and also it is also a form of full end test series. If you're focused towards ISRO ICRB examination also, so it will be helping you a lot. So concluding it once more, the three most important ingredients of competitive examination would be syllabus completion, revision and test series. These are like three legs of a tripod. You break any one, you're not going to succeed. So all the three are very important. Do not expect yourself to be skipping any one and expecting a good result. And then this is the form you do it. You are having sufficient time accordingly, divide your time. Let us say August and September, you will be doing your major subjects. Then in October and November, you'll be doing your minor subjects. And then in December, you'll start your full end test series and all of January, you will be giving for your full end test series only. That is very, very important because at the end moment, getting a good amount of practice of solving numericals fast with high accuracy also becomes very important. And that will you will only get when you do a lot of it. You solve a lot of questions in limited amount of time, you will get the exposure of handling the exam pressure. You'll be seeing your rank, you'll be seeing your marks, you'll be seeing what works and what doesn't. And that will be training you for the competitive examination in the best manner possible. Further, most of these things that I've talked about, I've talked about it very briefly. You need to learn about these things in depth. For example, how to make class notes. If you do not know, follow that video. If you do not know how to make micro notes or short notes, follow that video. If you do not know how to properly solve previous year questions, I've made a video on that also. Parallel revision, I've made a video on that also. Cyclic revision also, I've made a video. About daily revision, I've talked about in short notes video only and about test series, how you need to analyze that has a video itself. And that basically summarizes. So after this video, you need to watch somewhere around six to seven videos to properly understand how your six months is going to go. So if you just invest somewhere on like two hours of understanding how you need to proceed, then you are going to make a solid plan. So I've already said it's not going to be like a pill that I tell you in 10 minutes, this is what you need to do and you're going to execute it properly. No, it is detailed. You need to do it properly and this is how you need to do. So follow those videos also. It will be linked down in the description box. Most of this, those videos are available both in Hindi and English. I'll try to put all the links down in the description box. That's about it guys. Let me know down in the comment section what more do you want me to talk about because I know there might be some doubt or the other. I'll be happy to make a video on that also. So ask your questions in the comment section. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with a friend and that's about it. My second YouTube channel will be on personality development and rocket science named Ashish Ranjan. I'll put the link over here and you can go through it also if you want to improve in personality or if you're interested in rocket science. That's about it. I'll see all of you in the next one. Till then, bye. Thank you.